Now to Philippa Childs, the head of Bektu, which represents more than 30,000 staff, contract and freelance workers in the entertainment industry. Really important to get your steer on all of this, Philippa. Thank you for being here this morning. Good morning. Um, it's, I think it's difficult for people who aren't well versed in maths or understanding the situation. Are, is there enough support for freelancers at the moment? Um, so I think the answer to that is no. Um, right. Uh, uh, we're really pleased that the government has extended both the furlough and the self-employed income support scheme. Actually, we w- would agree with Annalise Dodds that that should have happened earlier to allow businesses to plan. Mm-hmm. Um, but we all know that there are 2.9 million uh, freelancers and self-employed people across the economy who uh, have had no support for the last eight months and for whom the government announcements yesterday um, helped not a jot so they continue to have no support and many thousands of those freelancers work in the creative industries it's really desperate for those people Uh, Excluded UK a group which has been set up to to support those individuals did a survey recently which suggested that mental health problems across that group are much bigger than across the rest of the economy and we've already seen sadly some suicides as a result so it's really uh, quite devastating for for those people who have um, paid their taxes like the rest of us to receive absolutely no support. It's so tough. That's where I was actually. I was freelance before I got this job here at the BBC and I know that even you know even without a pandemic it's it can be quite dicey can't it you know living from job to job hand to mouth. Yeah exactly. So I mean what happens now then? I mean do you think the government are listening? Can you go back? Can you make these calls? Can you help to understand where the situation is or do you think that some people would say well you know it's not a bottomless pit is there of money? Well, I think some people are saying that. The government seemed to be studiously ignoring this problem. But um, I was thinking about that this morning, actually. What what more can we do? We need yeah. clearly to, to have a big push in the run-up to Christmas because, you know, it, it's, it's unthinkable that these families will have no... Um, safety net in the, in the run-up mm. to Christmas. You know, we're talking about real families with children and mouths to feed, and it's, 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 it's heartbreaking, quite frankly. Yeah, so if anyone's listening this morning and they're in that situation, what's, what's the best place for support for them to turn right now, whether that be financial support or mental health support? Um, so, well, obviously, Excluded UK are doing a fantastic job to support people in, in those situations, and they've got various um, support mechanisms in place, including, I think, a helpline. But obviously, there are, there are normal things for people who work in uh, the creative industries. There's a film and TV charity who have a helpline uh, and also can provide uh, limited um, financial support. I think the problem is that all of these funds have now been exhausted yeah. in supporting people. So uh, I think it's it's really important that we focus on the government and um, that, that we, as I say, we, we make a big push in the run up to Christmas to uh, make sure that they do recognise that there's a huge number of people who, who are really struggling. Yeah, uh, we will keep the issue front of mind. Thank you so much, Philippa, for, for, for being here this morning. That's Philippa Childs, head of Bekti, which, as you've heard, represents more than 30,000 staff, contract and freelance workers in the entertainment industry. What more can we do? What more should we do? 